Hi everybody, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Aika, and today we're going to be talking about some of the use cases for bridges uh, that aren't exactly just hopping over other existing lines, and, and how you can use them to do some neat tricks with your ventilation and liquid to make sure that you can make new and exciting things in Oxygen Not Included. So let's just get started. The first use of a bridge is as a priority. Now, bridges inside of a ventilation line always take priority, which means that as long as a gas or a liquid can flow over the bridge, that bridge will always take priority over any other lines attached. And you can see here that our ventilation line comes through, hits this bridge. This is going to an area with a regular vent. And then we have another line that's coming off the white end of the bridge, the input end of the bridge. And that's going to one with a high pressure vent. What's going to happen is, is as the gas is traveling around this line, it's going to always prefer going to here until this is full. When this is full, it's going to start prefer going to here. So let's take a look and see how that's going to work. If we turn on our chamber right here, let me turn up the speed so it looks a little bit, we can see that the gas is making its way. And now no gas is going to enter this line until this line is full. So this line is going to get full. Gas is going to back up in the pipe. Now gas can no longer travel over this bridge, so it's going to start traveling over this line. This is useful because in some places you're going to want to prioritize one output over another. The most common use for this is when you have a squishy or an anti-entropy thermal nullifier and a hydrogen generator and maybe a dump for any excess when you're doing self-powered oxygen systems that are cooled via uh, an oxygen or a hydrogen-based cooling system. So if we turn on this pump right here, we can see that while this is going, We'll, we'll turn off this one so it doesn't do the thing. All right, so now we can see while this is going, it's always going to prefer this hydrogen generator for all of our hydrogen until this generator is done, until this generator is full. So the generator is full, it's going to back up. We have a bit of a, a line here to make sure that the generator will always have hydrogen available to it. But once this is backed up, now it's going to continue to go this way. And you can see that we have this other bridge, the white being the input, is set to prioritize the squishy. And then after the squishy is already full and ready to go, we're going to start dumping that hydrogen down here. This is one of the best uses of a priority case, as we have hydrogen coming from perhaps a self-powering oxygen module, an electrolyzer. And it's going to do power first and then cooling, and then all of the extra is gonna get dumped into atmosphere, or perhaps another storage container of your choice. The next use for bridges is as a, a split, an even split. Now this can be very useful for areas in which you need to get gas to multiple places, but perhaps uh, none of them are really prioritized. So what we have set up right here is a four-way split. And you can see that we have four separate lines coming off of each side of the green side of the, the bridge. So when we turn on this pump and we start to see our uh, natural gas flowing down the line, what's going to happen is, is it's going to alternate one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which pipe it goes down. And this is going to be useful in systems where you want uh, a, a even gas flow between different outputs. This could be useful for taking oxygen from an oxygen generation system and displaying it through your base where you want to kind of bring up the oxygen for your base all in the same amount. Um, you can see that while this is working to, it's not going to balance the packets themselves. So if you have packets that are going to be 500 grams and then a packet of one kilogram, then pick up 500 grams, one kilogram, then you're gonna get an uneven display. This only balances the packets themselves. This doesn't make the packets a proper size to go through. The next thing that bridges are useful for is for inputting on a line that may already have gas. So we can see right here that a gas pump is only capable of pumping 500 grams per packet. 
but a packet is capable of being 1,000 grams or one kilogram. So these lines are capable of holding one kilogram per second, whereas the pumps are only capable of half of that. So what we can do is we can add two packets together to get that one kilogram a second if they're of the same gas. So we'll display that here by turning on these two pumps. And now what you're going to see is that we have these 500 gram packets and once this gets into here, we're going to start seeing that we have one kilogram packets. So now we are filling this line. This is really useful when you have a area with a gas that maybe you have a lot of, of, of that gas. And what you need to do is make sure that your, uh, your, your gas gets somewhere as efficiently as possible. And you need to combine two pumps worth into a single line. This will combine them evenly. Now, one of the things that to note is you can only combine packets of gas that are of light gases. So if I turn on this pump right here, this has carbon dioxide in it. And we can see that when it gets to here, this is not going to alternate. This carbon dioxide is going to back up until there is a free space in this line. And that's because when you do an input like this onto a line, it only inputs when there's free space. It won't automatically uh, inject packets, you know, every other packet, it'll only put the gas onto the line when there's a space that that gas can occupy. So if we turn off one of these, or if we turn off both of these pumps, there will be space that's available on, space that's available on this, and we will see that this will start to flow. This can be really useful if you want to prioritize inputs into a system. Say you have a natural gas generator in which you are generating gas via gassy moose or some other way, and you have natural gas geysers and you want to prioritize the geyser first, then this would be a geyser pump and you could have all of your other generation getting an input onto that line where they don't take priority and therefore you are saving those sources while still using the geyser while it's accessible. I hope that you enjoyed this really quick tutorial on some of the ways to use bridges. I hope it was very helpful. If you would like to know more, please look in the description down below. You can find information from my Twitch. We do stream Oxygen Not Included on a really frequent basis, so feel free to pop into the comments or pop onto Twitch when we're live and ask your questions as this is a community that we enjoy teaching people and how to learn different things. Uh, the next subject that we're going to be looking at for a quick little tutorial is going to be power distribution systems. So I hope you tune into that video as well. As always, please leave a like and a subscribe and you can find more information in the description down below. Thank you and I, I hope to see you again.